Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to walk you through how to take close-up macro photographs of insects like this beetle that I have in my shot right now and all you need is a little bit of experience getting the right focus, stability, and the right equipment and you can get awesome macro shots like this and you can even get in really close and photograph their eyes mouth and anything else you can fit into your shot so to do this I'm using a Canon PowerShot digital camera and a Raynox macro lens so Raynox is a lens that is made in Japan so here's what it looks like. This is a clip-on macro lens and this simply clips onto the front of a digital camera such as my power shot or other digital cameras that you can buy and what you do is you set up your camera on a tripod about six to eight inches away from the insect and you begin to zoom in. So we are using optical zoom right now and I'm in AV mode in manual focus so zoom in about as far as you want and then use your manual focus to adjust the focus on the insects eyes or its face and then hold down your shutter button and take your shot so it's got its legs spread out so it kind of makes an awkward shot so I'm gonna actually lower my tripod and I'm going to get a l angle from down low like this. And this will give us a cool different view of this beetle. So let me zoom in again. Readjust my focus. I think I need to get in a little bit closer. Pull down my shutter button, pull back a little bit to focus on the eyes, and that's a pretty cool shot. So that's how simple it is. All you need is the right equipment, experience, and just to get the right balance and stability, and a tripod can go a long way towards making that a lot easier. And there's really so many things that you can photograph. All you have to do is to go out and look and when you find something interesting, so if I just spin around to the right here, there is a spider. It appears it's a jumping spider, a little baby. And I'm just gonna get my tripod stabilized with the camera. shutter button and there's my shot so let me get this guy to turn around here so sometimes if you blow at it the spider will turn around because I want to see what its face looks like so there we go Got him to turn around, so let's zoom back in. Adjust our focus, so it's web makes the shot a bit blurry, but if we can focus in through the web. Still get an interesting shot. And also you can play around with the flash and get a different different contrast at night and that will allow you to get nighttime photographs of insects and they'll be very sharp very bright and you can even bring a flashlight or an attachable light that goes onto the top of the SX60 HS for example the SX40 doesn't have an attachable light location but 
There's many things that you can do to up your game and allow you to get very cool photographs of all kinds of insects. So here's a spider trying to hide. And that's it. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below. Give a like and check out some of my other videos doing macro photography. And pick up this hobby for yourself. $100 camera on eBay, $50 lens, and you can just go out and photograph all kinds of insects. So here's another beetle. So these are Japanese beetles, I believe, from Japan. Somebody brought them over in there. They eat all the all the plants here and destroy our grapes and other crops so thanks a lot whoever brought those over and that's all there is to macro photography hope you guys enjoy have fun very fun hobby to pick up and once you get good at it there's nothing stopping you from getting amazing shots so here's another these things mate like crazy so that's a handheld shot my tripod's not on the ground and that's all there is to it